man, I fell asleep with the window open. Got my window so wet. Shoot. Raining pretty good out there. No going outside today, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's been raining all night. And I fell asleep with that window open. I can't believe I did that. It's time to make some coffee. Debbie sent me some coffee. This is my favorite coffee. Thank you, Debbie, so much. Good morning. Good morning. You're all happy today, huh? You don't care that it's raining, do you? You just sleep in. I sure like this little teapot. Good morning, guys. I am having my first cup of coffee, and I thought I would share with you what's been going on with me and uh, you guys know I have fought depression and stress and worry and anxiety quite some time. I finally spoke to someone. Uh, I'll be speaking with them every couple of weeks and kind of what they told me I what I do is I catastrophic think. I, I think of the worst thing that can happen and that's really bad. It causes so much anxiety and it's so hard to break. Uh, I noticed over the last two years, I've started doing this. I mean, it, it makes it where I don't want to do anything because I'm, I get worried that something bad will happen and, um, I'm facing up to it now. It's, it's hard. Uh, it's hard to break that cycle of way of thinking, but it's like, I, I don't drive my van a lot because of uh, the fuel costs so much, but I haven't drove it much at all this year. And I think that's about how long that I've been really doing this way of thinking, this way of stress. Now I get scared to drive it, not because I'm scared I'll wreck it, but, but what if something goes wrong? What if it breaks down? And there's nothing wrong with it. But uh, in the in my mind, I can play something that could be wrong with it. Uh, I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Like, you know, it's an older vehicle, but it's a strong motor. I I play this out in my mind. Like if I take a long drive, what if something happens? I don't have the money to get it towed or, you know, if it's my house. It, if it breaks down, I'm in, you know, I have nowhere to go. And I have that way of thinking and it definitely is crippling to me and I've got to change it. And I've been learning some ways to help change it. I've looked up some videos on it, and, and this is quite a common thing, so my prayers go out to everybody that deals with this, but I'm really starting to face up to it now of how it is. You know, I kind of honestly think, after talking to psychologists, I kind of think this all started when I got sick with my heart, because, uh, you know, it, it was the worst thing that, one of the worst things that could happen kind of went went by me and, and during that time and you know the day they came in and told me that hey only 25 percent of your heart works you know things don't look good I it just it just clicked something in my brain and made me just it, I think it all stems from there and that's been five years and so uh, learning how to control that that way of thinking like uh for example, I, I will think about like, so say I am dr taking a, I used to take Sunday drives in my van all the time. And, uh, but I started catching myself, oh man, what if I'm this far away and uh, I have a blowout and my phone don't work? You know, I don't have a signal or stuff like that. That is a horrible way to think. And, you know, and then from that point, I worry, well, I don't have that extra money to tow my vehicle if I need to. I don't have the way to fix the tire if I need to. And that has created a very, very, very bad for me uh, way of thinking and way of living. It causes me so much stress. And it's not just about stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I'll sit and think, you know, what if I get really sick? What's going to happen to my kitty cats? Or, 
you know, stuff like that. I feel like in my mind, I don't have a base to fall on. And that has really caused some negative thoughts, some a lot of anxiety. I think it causes the reason I don't sleep well at night. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at with that. But I wanted to tell you guys kind of what's going on with me as I find out because I've always been an open book with you. And uh, that's what my, my channel is about, my life and, and how I live it. And uh, I like to share with you guys. If I can say something that helps somebody else, that makes me feel good. So definitely, if you're having these type of anxiety, type of catastrophic thinking, you really should talk to someone. And there's some really good videos about it on YouTube. Ways to train that your brain to think differently. And I know this is a simple thing, but it kind of was like a bright light. Okay, well, don't think about something bad happening think about the good things so if driving my van makes me worry or have that catastrophic thought i should think look what i'm going to get to see look how pretty it is outside look look at this and try to focus on that and it really helps and also uh i don't listen to music as much as i used to the most i listen to music is when i play lives and i play music but i i started listening to music more just here in the van and when you're singing, you can't really think negative thoughts. Uh, try it. Try singing and think of something negative, but negative and think of the word uh, and, and then realize that you can't sing the words truly to the song and be worried about something negative. Uh, at least for me, that's what I found a good exercise is. You know, I have a friend that's kind of has close to the same type of heart issues I have just happening to her. And uh, she said that it's scary it's scary you know and it is it truly is but i never really faced that fact of how scary it is and deal with it um learning to face that fear is will help you out in a lot of ways and and i mean it, it can be just not about stuff like with your heart but about anything in life fear learning to face that fear and and learning that uncertainty is a big part of life we live that every day uncertainty and it's okay to be uncertain about things um but we need our minds what i'm finding out about this way of thinking our minds need to grasp onto that uncertainty and keep pushing forward uh because uncertainty does not mean everything's always bad it can mean that everything can be good so you have to just you have to push forward and that's what I'm trying to do within this it it is hard and uh, I feel very vulnerable telling you guys about this I mean I've told you a little bit before but it's really coming to light for me right now how I'm feeling and what I'm dealing with you know part of me seems makes me part of me thinks this is silly to feel this way I never felt this way when I was younger and I used to do dangerous things all the time ride motorcycles really fast uh, ride dirt bikes jump a lot uh, on dirt bikes and I never had a fear as I've gotten older and as I've gotten ill with my heart you know sick with my heart it definitely has reprogrammed my brain to think this catastrophic thoughts something my friend cookie uh, even made me think you know what I'm doing is hurting me uh cookie I, he's seen the video I said that my tires are low well it's because I don't drive my van enough. I need to drive it more. And I had only, I've had i only been driving my van maybe once every couple of weeks. And uh, it can make your tires go bad, go low and stuff. And when he said that to me, I'm thinking this way of thinking is even causing issues that aren't good. You know, I have to push past this. So that's what I'm going to be working on. And um, I hope you guys don't mind uh, me sharing this with you. But you guys are kind of my therapy in a way. Uh, I can open up and I feel it, it makes me feel vulnerable. But it's good for me to talk to you guys about this stuff. And like I said, I hope it will help someone else. And in this way of thinking causes a lot of anxiety. Anxiety helps push on along depression. And that's what I've been feeling for the last two months, pretty pretty much, is depression. My videos have been uh, not quite what they used to be. And uh, I get to feeling like I, I don't want to do a video. 
And then I get something bothers me about YouTube, you know, comments or like that lady emailing me sets me off and it just really makes me irritated at making videos. Not irritated at you guys, just uh, irritated at why am I putting myself out there? Uh, but I know why, because I love this community and I love sharing with you guys and I love sharing my life with you. And so that definitely um, has helped me. But I have caught myself getting more depressed. I'm not working out like I was. I mean, I was dancing every day in the van, even though it would be raining all the time outside. I was taking more bike rides on the days that it wasn't raining. And going to the YMCA more, I haven't gone much. I <coughs> This last month, I only went to the YMCA twice. Normally, I go twice a week. And so, definitely watched myself kind of go down into this hole. And now I'm fighting to get back out of it. So, bear with me, guys. And um, thank you for being here. Uh, you guys do mean a lot to me. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for uh, being a part of my journey and a part of uh, this channel. So that's all I got for you today, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace out.